What's up everybody, welcome back to Barnes Box. Today we're unboxing the Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 Collector's Edition. This is redonkulously late because I had a issue with my delivery. The first one they shipped seemed to have got lost somewhere, so then they had to send me a new one. Um, so this game did come out, I mean the Collector's Edition was September 6th, was it? And then, no, the 5th, and then the full game came out on the 9th. Obviously we're past both of those, so you can't get the Standard Edition now. Uh, the Collector's Edition, as far as I'm aware, is sold out. Um, and yeah, I mean, I had this on PS5. If you checked out my other unboxings, you'll have seen uh, the gold edition I had for the PS5. I've been playing that one um, along with the controller, which is awesome uh, looking. And um, yeah, so I mean, I've been loving the game. It is so much fun. Uh, so I can't recommend it enough if you're into kind of, I want to say like old school kind of game, but not in a bad way. Like kind of like, you know, like kind of 360 era, just like bombastic action shooter game. If you like that kind of thing, I highly recommend it. But, uh, so yeah, this is a collector's edition. The game is obviously here separately, apparently. And it came in this plastic bag, which we'll get rid of that. Yeah, and then the box here, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. I love this box. It is a bit plain, obviously. Same design on the back. It's such a cool image. I, I like this image a lot. Um, and I believe actually we should have. In two clips, this one on top. We'll quickly crack into this because I believe, and I, th I I don't know which editions from the Focus Store had this, but this should have a reversible cover. I believe included that was exclusive to them. So this is obviously the standard cover, um, and I think the um, Focus Store cover is the same as this kind of print that we have on the front here so that both seem to do that with a lot of their games I, if i remember rightly banishes with the same deal um so. order it from them and get a fancy cover So it's less of a cover, more of just a insert. Oh no, it's a cover. It's got a Titan on the spine and everything. It just doesn't have all the the uh, gump on the back that you know the standard edition does. With the Xbox label on the back, haven't I? My apologies. Um, but yeah, it's the same awesome image i do kind of wish it had like the brand i know this is going to sound really dumb but the branding to make it look like a more you know, the rating and stuff to make it look less like it's just a picture in there but uh you know you start to rock this and then put it on your uh put it on your shelf it would still have the title on the spine for you so that's that's good at least yeah, and then here's the uh, disc, which was the same as the PS5 disc, art minus obviously Xbox branding. And and here's my season pass again. Code for other stuff, right? Um, that. let's get into the main edition here. Teasing you all. Act taped up here. Okay, so right off the bat, let's say we've got the art book. Steel book there. Separate steel book from the gold edition. So if you want to see the gold edition steel book, like I said, I've got a video up for that separately. Um, why is the spine upside down? <laughs> that's the front of the book, and that's the spine. A quick look through this. I don't know if the spoilers in here, so beware, I suppose. I wish to avoid spoilers, but I can only wait to experience the full game before you read this book. So,
These things creep me out, man. <laughs> the Imperial Cherubim. Dreadnought, that was so cool. Gorgeous. There's some real gorgeous art in this game. Yeah, I mean, if you played this game, I'm, you you would have seen some really nice scenery. The art book, that she like in the warp here, I think it is. Amazing. Oh, and this this part of it, anyway. I almost spoiled it too much. Um, the so, art book. So we got a steel book. You know what this holds up to my uh, standards. We have a title on the spine. It's the correct way up. We have. Sort of. There's two little like spots on the spine. Do these show up? In there and there. They are part of the art. That is not like damage. Front here. The eyes are um, depressed, recessed, debossed, debossed. That word. Along with the. Uh, can I get the light on it properly? For you? On the grills here on the front. There's texture to it, um, to it, and then there's, this is all matte, it seems like, except the eyes, which have this glossy effect, which hopefully be going up if I bounce the light off of that. Back, pretty plain, just the Ultramarines logo or whatever, but again, the outside of this, uh, the, the U, whatever symbol, is higher up, the inner is depressed, along with the eye sockets in the skull. That to go up for you, kind of see that. Oh, there you go. That's a good kind of the levels. Very nice logo though. All right, inside. Last uh, the gold edition was black and white, and it was a little bit disappointing. So I'm hoping. Ah, oh, there we go. That's an interior for a steelbook. That gorgeous scenery. That, that my ideal inner for a steel book is just like a gorgeous image like this like scenery or whatever the tank down at the bottom right looks like and cathedrals and man yeah I'm not sure if I prefer this outer to the gold edition because the gold edition had like the front of him coming through the Tyranids and the back was like the back view of it um so i almost feel like i would my ideal warhammer space moon 2 would be the outer of the gold with the inner of this but they're both overall really nice steel books like i'm happy with both of those all right um i think all that's left is the figure right was there anything else i can't remember it's been so long First pre-ordered this like back in what 2021 I think when they first announced the collector's edition. Some assembly required with this. So you can see by now. I'm gonna try my best to uh, get this unboxed as fast and carefully as we can. So here's an arm. I think uh, there is detachable faces or helmets that you can have his. It's obviously Titus, but you can have it with his helmet on or off. It's gonna unpack all the pieces to start with. We have all these plastic bags. They didn't go the eco-friendly route on this and have paper bags or anything. <laughs> Here's the head. Let's go off the detail on the head a bit. Oi. Yeah.
It's pretty well detailed, I will say, I think. I'm an art critic, though, so correct me if it's not. Sword. Oh, oh, oh! Beautiful. Moisture absorber. Mmm. Mmm. Don't eat. Flamer. Don't eat moisture absorber. Silica gel, whatever. I will say too, these are hefty. Like, these have some weight to them. But these aren't going to blow around. I feel like solid bits of plastic or resin or whatever it is. Actual heft to them. That's another okay. Is this magnet? Magnetic? Apparently. <laughs> Is that how everything attaches to each other? Interesting. I'll find the line to cut through. Apologies, headphone users. It's not a nice sound. Well, well anybody with a volume up. Wow. Oh, this is this is a weapon. Holy Against workshop. Ah, copyright crap. Cool. This is wow. That is that is a. <laughs> I don't know what that's made out of, but that is. I mean, it feels like a slab of rock. Like the weight is insane. I guess it's probably resin or something. But wow. Extra. Absorber. Whatever that stuff is. Um. I didn't see any instructions. <laughs> so I guess we're just winging this. I mean, obviously he's gonna go in there. Oh, it is magnetic. Oh, that is satisfying. Can you guys hear that? Oh, this is amazing. Be magnetic like this. Backpack on. Board on. Oh, it's not going in as well. Why is this not going in as well? Am I the wrong way? There we go. Wrong way. This guy's arms on. Right, let's check out the detail on the helmet. You know, that just pops out, and then if you wanted, you can... Oh, hey, does his head right back in there? I'm a sucker for the helmet, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not... You know, like his design is fine, but it's not... I don't think he looks overly cool. He looks kind of like, just like an old man. <laughs> um, which, you know, is fine, but... I'm going with the helmet on. Just to go that way? That way. Oh. Focus, come on. Apologize for the blurriness, I'm still. And I get this new setup working a bit better. Is that not where that goes? Is that where this one goes? No, it's definitely there. That one's there. What's this one for? Is it, oh, is it interchangeable arm? Is it for this? No, oh, it doesn't seem like it.
go in the base somewhere? I don't understand where this goes. It looks like it. Definitely bigger than that piece. Oh boy. That's not how that one goes. That's how that one goes, that's better. Could have been wrong. I feel like such an idiot right now. Where does this extra arm go? This one goes like that, I think. This one is I want it like that. I don't see any extra holes. <laughs> yes I do. It is on the base here, look. Put the focus. Where do you go? Way. Way? No. Like that? Don't put me his arm back on. Here you go, Titus. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be like that, but it doesn't seem to fit quite as well as when I do it like nah, it's definitely I'm pretty sure it's gotta be like that, hanging over the edge because then the blood's dripping down from it, isn't it? Camera, camera you wanna work with me? So heavy. This is amazing. This is so much more than I thought it was going to be because, I mean, it was expensive. It was, what, $250 in the States and 220 over here, but, you know, I've paid that much before and it's not been see, And then, yeah, that sits in there to give it a bit more stability. I've not been anywhere near this quality of statue. This is phenomenal. But my experience of things, like, wow. I mean, I'll get some close-up pictures here at the end because it's going to be hard for me to try and show all of this on uh, video, I think. Um, hopefully you guys have got the chance, though. And, uh, yeah, that was finally, sorry for the huge delay on this, um, it was beyond frustrating, but I'm so glad to have it now and I'm so happy to have it because this is so cool. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've played this, if you've already, like, rinsed every piece of content there is at the moment. You know, maxed out. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, so, let me know uh, if you've been enjoying the game. If you're looking to pick the game up, let me know. Um, I, if you've got any questions about the game, ask them. I can answer. I haven't fully finished the operations yet, but I've finished the campaign. I, I, I really do recommend this game. It's worth checking out, at the very least. And, um, yeah, make sure to follow me over on Twitch, uh, here on YouTube. Hit the bell if you want to know when stuff goes live. And um, I uh, hope to see you next time.